Good morning, Penny Panthers. I'm Danielle. And I'm Avery. Today is November 2nd, 8A. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lunch choices today are crispy fish sticks, our alternate entrees are classic cheeseburger, sun butter and grape jelly sandwich, and hummus with veggies. And it's cookie day! Woohoo! Happy birthday to Mr. Ursham and Walker Beal. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Um, today we'll be interviewing Mr. Ursham about what it takes to be student alone. Hi hey girls. Hi. Happy birthday, Mr. Ursham. Thanks. Me and Walker. This is his birthday, too. Yay. Cool. How did you get the idea for Student of the Month? Student of the Month. Uh, that's a great uh, new uh, piece that we added to our school last year, and, and a lot of uh, teachers brought that to our attention. We have like a leadership team for teachers, and some of the teachers on that team said, can we maybe do a Student of the Month where we could empower students to really follow through on the penny practices mm -hmm. and I said that sounds like a great idea so um, it really was a good first year last year and the students are really excited and the staff's excited about this year so we kept it and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What qualities do you and teachers look for in your student of the month? Okay good question. Um, penny practices I mean that's a big part of what we do here at Penny. I'm taking care of ourselves and taking care of others and then taking care of our school so those are the three main um, you know kind of our mission here at Penny at really looking out for others, mm -hmm. but also thinking what's in our control and how can we help make our school the best. So those are some of the traits. I think of also the, the traits, the characteristics or the character traits that we look for. Um, I think of the acronym or the term terrific. Um, I think of tr being trustworthy. I always look at if students are trustworthy, they tell the truth and they're honest with uh, what they do in their control is, is a big part of this. I also think of being respectful um, to one another and with their teachers. I think that's going to be important and with their parents outside of school. Uh, being responsible. Okay, how are you with your grades or your schoolwork and you know doing chores at home or in the community uh, is a very big one. Uh, being fair, uh, not you know trying to really work with others and be fair with you know, if you're playing a game on recess, or you're playing a, uh, playing a, a game indoor recess, or just kind of being fair and not being one that's going to you know un, you know break the rules or so forth. Mm -hmm. I'm also being um, collaborative and, and cooperative. We mm -hmm. mean definitely have to be able to work together. Mm -hmm. It's not about, you know, just always about me wanting to control everything. It's about working together so that, you know, uh, trustworthy, responsibility, respect, uh, fairness, and being a collaborative. Kind of the, the terrific is the way I remember it. So look for <laughs> those traits of the really the things that we look for for Student of the Month. This is Sarah Dockett. <laughs> Excuse me. Do <laughs> calls? Go ahead. Okay. Is there any, um, sorry, how does Student of the Month empower students? How does it empower students? Well, I literally think it looks for how can I, as a student, help um, follow through on all of those characteristics. So I think when you say it, when, how does it empower you, it's in what's in your control. Because oftentimes I think students think about oh, things that other people do and what's in their control, but I think it's, a, it's time for us to reflect. So you look in the mirror and say, how can Avery, how can Danielle, how can I make a difference today? I think that's what I like about our message at the end of the announcements is make it a great day. It's not have a good day. It's like, how can I make today be a great day? So if I see you in the hallway and I'm like, hey, Avery, how are you? Good morning. How was your retreat? Or how was, you know, what are you doing this <laughs> weekend? I'm empowering you. To, I'm empowering a, a friendship between you know, staff and staff and peers or peers to peers. Is there anything else we didn't mention that you would like to mention about Student on the Month? Um, well, I think Student of the Month is, can be tricky for teachers because we can't nominate every single student um, all year long. And I think you know, we have over 720 students at Penny. So not every single student is going to get Student of the Month, and that's okay. doesn't mean because your name's up on the wall or a certificate, doesn't mean that you can't follow through on those character traits. You can be a leader um, without having a name on the wall or getting a reward. It's just how you reflect and look upon what, what can I do to make a difference at school. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Two, four, six, eight, read, share, learn, create.